Use the trapezium rule with five ordinates to find the approximate value for the integral between 1 and 2 of the square root of 4x cubed dx. Show you're working and give your answer to three decimal places. So we need the trapezium rule. So let's click over to the formula booklet. Here's the trapezium rule here, the, the approximate integral of y dx between bands a and b. is h over 2 um, times by the first and last y ordinate, y0 plus yn and plus 2 times all the y ordinates in between from y1 up to yn minus 1 where h is equal to b minus a over n so let's put that formula then let's write it in here it is here so let's put that down so here we've got the formula now we're talking about a is 1 and b is 2 so let's put those in a is 1 b is 2 so it's between 1 and 2 a is 1 b is 2 so let's put them in here and here. B is 2, A is 1. And we're going from Y0 to Yn. There's uh, five ordinates, so N will be 4, because we start from 0, don't we? So N will be 4. So let's put that in here and here. And this will be 3, won't it? So N is 4. And this will be N minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3, so we can put that in there. So that's how far we got up to. So it's just y1 plus y2 plus y3, close bracket. h is a quarter. So I'm going to put that in there straight away. What, a quarter over 2 is an eighth. So let's put that in straight away. And then that just gives us the answer here. And then we can just get rid of this h calculation here. So that's what we need to work out then. Let's get the x ordinates. We're going from 1 to 2. So um, x0 we start with, of course. Then we go up to x2, x3, down to x4, because there's five ordinates. We start from 1, and we go up to 2. So we're going to have to divide the interval into 0.25s, aren't we? Divide it by 4. And that's equal to 2. If I can write it correctly. There we go. So there's our x ordinates. As we said, there's five ordinates, four intervals between 1 and 2, and we increment by quarters, don't we? Now the y naught in the first ordinate is when the x value is 1. It's the square root of 4 plus x cubed. So 4 plus 1 cubed is 4 plus 1 is 5, so it's the square root of 5. Uh, y1 is equal to the square root of 4 plus 1.25 uh, cubed y2 4 plus 1.5 cubed y3 4 plus 1.75 cubed and then y4 is the square root of 4 plus 2 cubed 2 cubed is 8 8 plus 4 is 12 so that would be the square root of 12 so we need our calculator now to work these out. Let's do the first one then, 4 plus 1 cubed. So I'll write it in that format. Um, the square root of uh, 4 plus 1 power 3. And it will be plus, won't it? 4 plus 1 cubed. Root 5. And we're working to 3dp, so we better be to 5 to be reasonably safe. 23606. 2.23606. And this one, 4 plus 1.25 squared. So toggle back, just change the 1 to 1 1.25. 2.43990. 4.3990. 2.43990. Now 1.5, inputted, 2.71569, 71569, but that's a 5, so it's 7, 0. 7, 1, 5, 7 0. Then the 1.75. Three point oh five nine three one. Oh five nine three one. 
3.05931 and then the root 12 we can just put 2 in can't we here just to be consistent we get 2 root 3 46410 3 point okay so let's put the calculation up here it's 1 8 the first and the last that's this one and this one here so let's put them in um, and then it's going to be plus two times two lots of these three added together isn't it so let's put that in the calculator so we'll get our calculator out now move it slightly out of the way so we've got one eighth one divided by eight times bracket uh, the first and the last, 2.23606, 3.46410, plus 2 times brackets, and these three added together, wasn't it? 2.43990. plus... Uh, 2.71570, 2.71570 plus 3.05931, 3.05931. Close the bracket for the two times and then close the bracket at the end. Equals 2.766248. Uh, to 3DP, 2.766, isn't it? And that was the three decimal places.